Descartes held that non-human animals could be reductively explained as automata abstract machines, and Democritus and Leucippus were the first to suggest a reductionist view of the world, arguing that everything is made up of atoms and empty the void. Introducing reductionism, a mode of philosophy, and the idea that every phenomenon, however complex, can be reduced to something simpler. You can understand things by taking them apart into smaller pieces, and it can be seen as the intellectual equivalent of digital zoom, enhancing reality until it pixelates into fundamental particles. The properties and the laws of chemistry can be reduced to the laws of physics, molecules can be traced back to atoms, biological cells to molecules, plants and animals can be explained by cells, and the mind can be reduced to brain neurons. You can view it as the cognitive style of choice for the detail-oriented nerds who run the world and the secret sauce behind science, tech, and that guy at parties who can't stop explaining how things actually work. Methodological reductionism breaks real-world systems into smaller parts to explain the whole, while theory reductionism derives higher-level theories from more fundamental ones. However, higher and lower levels in theories don't necessarily correspond to larger or smaller physical scales. Reductionism can be a helpful tool, but it's crucial to recognize its limitations. One can read What Is It Like to Be a Bat by Thomas Nagel to get some sort of idea as to why reductionism just terminates at a certain point. Quine's emphasis on the web of belief and the indeterminacy of translation challenged the idea that complex phenomena could be reduced to simpler, more fundamental components. He argued that our beliefs are interconnected and influenced by various factors, making it difficult to isolate and analyze them in isolation. The real value lies in the understanding we gain at each level of reduction, which has led to both intellectual and technological advancements. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.